All right, Shalom, Shalom. We're the real Hebrews lights coming day in and day out. The prophet signed down for the break. Cheers, America. First off and foremost, all praises, honor, and glory be unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, and Karkadash. That wants to be all the apostles of Great Millstone and salutations to the elect, wherever you may be. Brother Shapai, you're coming at you again with another quick lesson. Spirit, empower Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. And today's lesson is basically. Invest spiritually. Don't worry about the karma, man. That's our whole job. That's the whole mission right now, man. All right? Because this world is temporary. This society is temporary. Now, through the Spirit, I'm, I'm going to just be quoting scriptures. All right? But like the scripture says, wisdom is to, is to be desired above all rubies, choice silver, choice gold, things of that nature, all right, because although gold is valuable, although certain resources is valuable, nothing is as valuable as that one penny that we're fighting for, which is salvation, and to be co-heirs with Yahweh Shai, nothing will ever amount to that, man, all right, not your job, not your little bank accounts, hey, I got four bank accounts, four fucking bank accounts, that shit's not an investment. My wife want to buy a house. That's not an investment. It's not an investment, man. All right? The true investment is investing your spirit in Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, and in this wisdom, man. Simply put, and if you do like the, the, uh, the finer things of life, like Wisdom of Solomon says, if you desire thrones, scepters, things of that, all right, wisdom bring it into the kingdom. All right, so you got to desire wisdom first, and everything else will follow through, man. Don't let nobody tell you different, man. I hear a lot of bullshit in my ear day in and day out. It goes in one ear, it goes out the other. I don't give a fuck about the shit, man. Now, while we're here on earth, we are going to maintain. We're going to do what we got to do. We're going to work, take care of our family, so on and so forth. But don't get uh, uh, caught up or entangled with the affairs of this world, man. It's not fucking worth it, all right? Nothing is worth your soul. And what the scripture says, you gain the whole world and lose your soul. What's the point? See, while you niggas are investing in temporary shit, we're, on the other hand, we're, on the other hand, investing in the internal. Immortality, things of that nature, all right? If a lot of niggas can't see it, Oh well, they're lost. And if your woman can't see it, oh well, she's lost. Matter of fact, you can tell that bitch to get lost. Alright? These assholes driving, man. Fucking move! Dip shit! What are y'all doing? What? You niggas are fucking stupid. Anyway, back to the regular uh, schedule programming. Alright? That's why a lot of niggas gotta die. They're oblivious to a lot of shit, man. And the number one thing they're oblivious to is the truth. Niggas will get mad at you because you're investing your time with the Lord. Then they'll say they're spiritual, but when you give them scriptures, they scoff them. They see you sacrificing your life for the past 12 to 10 years, they still scoff you. They see that you're blessed to the Lord, they still scoff you. Why? Because we're the prophets of the Lord, so it comes with the territory, man. All right? We invest our time. Our spirit and Yahweh by Shimmy have a shot. All right? That's all we should be worried about. Matter of fact, it says be occupied in prophecies. That's the whole entire truth. That's the whole Bible. You, a matter of fact, 2 Timothy says, give thyself wholly unto these things, your all, your everything. Seek the Lord 10 times more. Because while these niggas are around scoffing us, they forget that we fucked up. They forget that we're in the situation that we're in because of our fuck-ups, man. So I'm trying to get out of debt with the Lord, if you know what I mean. I'm trying to pay off my debts. I'm trying to make my life a, 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 a living sacrifice for you. How about Shimei Shai? Because I want that mercy. I want that grace. I want salvation. It's a lot of work to be done. And I ain't talking about carnal work. I'm talking about spiritual work. And that's the work you need to be occupied in, man. It says a man that uh, 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 is occupied in bullocks 
His talk is of, not bullocks, of oxen. His talk is of oxen, man. He's not worried about the Lord. So I'm not worried about trying to get temporal shit on this planet Earth, man. Or have my little investments. Now, whatever the Lord blessed me with, so be it. Amen. Let it be so. But the number one thing you should seek for is prophecy, man. All right? Like the scripture says, cover all the gifts. The number one thing you want is prophecy, man, to prophesy. This is all I care about because you know what? This is my golden ticket out of her, and this is the golden ticket for me and my daughters to get out of her, man. My wife I ain't really worried about. That bitch got her ticket on the first fucking flight, first class to fucking hell. When I say hell, I mean fucking nukes dropping on that bitch. All right? And anybody else who acts that way, man, because everybody looks down on the prophets because they think the prophets are just wasting their time. If you think certain the Lord is a waste of time, well, the Lord's going to waste you. All right? We're on the Lord's time. All right? You want to speak on uh, speak on time? We're on the Lord's time, man. And while I'm on the Lord's clock, I'm going to make sure I'm doing overtime. I'm going to make sure I'm doing what I got to do for you. How about you? Because that's the only way out of this goddamn situation. Not having a grade A job. Listen, I had grade A jobs. I had great coverage. Look at the economy. And niggas still have faith in this place. It's out fucking landish. How much faith people have in America? It's sickening. All right? So all I want to say, brothers, invest your spirit. Invest your time in the Lord. Don't be worried about these niggas that scoff you. Don't pay them no mind. Don't pay them no mind. Because I know one thing for sure. The Lord is blessing his prophets. And yes, we go through our ups and downs. Yes, we go through our struggles. We go through all that shit. But ultimately, the Lord is blessing us. I know this from a, a, a first-hand testimony, man. That's why I love and trust you. How about Shimei Shai so much? Because they have never let me down. Ever. I really mean that. Ever. The Lord... Yahweh Bashim Yahushai has literally never let me down. Hey, what's the rock the second chapter says? Look at the generations of old. Then did anyone who ever uh, seek the Lord, who did he forsaken? None. Now, some people went through their bullshit, but we had to go through that bullshit. It's, hey, it's Acts 14 and 22. Through much tribulations, we enter into the kingdom of heaven. All right, that, 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 that straight and narrow path, man. Fire on the right, water on the left. We have to go through this to get to the kingdom, man. And if any nigga thinks it's a waste of time, maybe a how about your mouth shot waste that person, all right? Because in my in my consideration, in my opinion, a lot of you niggas are just a, a, a waste of air, man. You're a waste of spirit, but I ain't going to say spirit because the Lord obviously made you for a reason. A lot of you got, hey, I'll call you this, undesirables. That's exactly what a lot of you people are, man. And the Lord is not going to desire your ass in that day. So with that, I'm going to say all praises on the glory of you too. Yahweh by Shema Shai, by Shema Karkadash. That will answer the other apostles, the great millstone, the salutations to the elect, where you may be, Bob the Ball.